Tim. I'm Tyler. We're Double Down Reviews. Join us this month for our March to Infinity War. Things are getting serious. Hey guys, I'm Tyler. I'm Tim. And uh, we're Double Down Reviews. We're uh, doing another uh, review for the March to Infinity War. So, here we go. This is the Iron Man 3 2-pack Pepper Pots and Mark 9 armor. She's a beaut, Clark. Yeah. Cool 2-pack. Uh, this is by Hot Toys, and it was sold as a 2-pack exclusive this way with these figures and some exclusive uh, accessories, or you can just buy the Pepper Pots figure separately. Uh, it was 340 for the 2-pack, and I believe Pepper Pots alone was 220 uh, so if you're gonna buy pepper pots, you might as well just spend the extra, what, hundred and get the Iron Man in the pepper pots. Yeah, might as well. Let's get the sweet stain. Yeah. Uh, packaging. It was a double wide Hot Toys box with some artwork of Pepper holding the helmet on the front and uh, the Iron Man Mark IX suit. Inside, get a picture of the arc reactor. And then just a little cradle in there where the two figures stood with all their accessories around them. And is the, the base on this one, it, does this have LEDs or it, is this... It does not. This is like a reused base from another Iron Man figure. And in that base, it did light up. But this there's like a battery slot on the bottom, but it's just sealed. You can't open it. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Yeah, I tried to open it for a while and then I realized that it just it's glued shut. It doesn't work. That's too bad because that, that could have been really cool, like illuminating up. But you had to buy the other hot toy to get it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, take a look at the Iron Man suit here first, the Mark IX suit. Uh, take him off his little stand here. Those are really cool stands, though. I like those. The stand is like a flight stand. With, this is bendy, so you can kind of pose him all over, and then this clip opens, holds his waist. Uh, the entire figure is a plastic. I know they make die-cast Iron Man suits also, but those are very expensive. Uh, there's a lot of moving parts on these. They're kind of scary. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, we got the Iron Man Mark IX suit. Has various hands. I think he came with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different hands. <clears throat> it's nice though, it seems like all the armor kind of have, has moving pieces, so you don't really have to worry about, you know, like a shoulder pad not allowing him to have like a pose, mm. like an Iron Man pose. Yeah, surprisingly for all the pieces sticking off, I think he actually has a lot of movement. Um, he also has a light up feature on here. So if you flip up these, you can turn on this little switch here. Turns on his arc reactor in the front, and both hands light up. Buttons under the arms here, and then the top of the head opens up, and you can turn his eyeballs on. Put this on again. This area is all lit up. Boy. That's really cool looking. On the back, he's got his little like air brakes. These all open up, and these gold pieces can are like separate here, various different positions where they go into. Uh, I like the weathering that they did too. How like it kind of looks like the side of his suit has you know wear and tear on it. Yeah, and dirt and grime. In his battles. Uh, for articulation on this figure, we have ankle rocker, and then this piece on the front here is kind of like a, on a hinge, so you can go forward and back a little more. Knees double jointed. See how far back those go. Like that. It's actually my favorite attack pose that yep. he has. Coming <laughs> through the air. The legs. Like that. Completely that way. Forward, they don't have as much. They go about to there. Going forward. Like that. Just because of the way that the suit up here kind of hinders it a little where the thigh meets the waist. 
waist cut is like mid torso for this figure. That arms, he has like a shoulder pad up here, but that's kind of like a separate piece that kind of floats on the shoulder. So you can have movement like that, that. And the full head movement spin all the way around. And there's batteries in the head, the arms, and the chest piece. So this is all separate battery pieces. And the batteries are tiny. They're actually pretty hard to get in. <laughs> so if you've never put batteries in a hot toy before, um, <laughs> just be careful. Uh, there's Like Tim said, there's a lot of moving pieces on this figure as well as all the screws are tiny, so you're gonna need a really small Phillips screwdriver. Yeah. Um, like, otherwise, you'll strip the screws, so just be careful. Like that's the battery slot on there. I'll show you a close-up of that on the back of the arm. That's articulation for Iron Man. Stand up, Iron Man. Look at Pepper here. Just dropped her flyer. So she's got. Like a ball joint ankle. She also has interchangeable feet if you, for like towards the end of Iron Man 3, she uh, isn't wearing the shoes anymore, so she's got bare feet in there. You got ankle pivot like that, forward and back, left and right, all the way around. Got a knee joint. Knee joints. I got stretching legs like that, like that. She's got mid torso articulation, left and right, forward and back. And her upper torso and arms are uh, one piece. So it's like a soft rubber. So you don't have like the joint cuts anywhere in here. And then the head is pop on, pop off, just a ball joint neck. And she has the uh, Real hair instead of a sculpted hair, which can kind of be a mess. Stands up well enough on high heels, though. There's also a, an alternate Iron Man helmet if you take the front off here that has Pepper's face inside of it for the scene in Iron Man 3 when he like throws the armor on her to protect her, so you can make it look like she's wearing the armor. And she just comes to the normal. 1 6 stand hot toy. Uh, Let's talk about accessories. Accessories. For Pepper, we have the alternate head. We got the bare feet for the end of the movie scene. She comes with the Tony Stark Industries folder with some flyers in here, pieces of paper, some sheets, diagrams. Um, she comes with one, two, three, four extra hands for different poses, plus the two she has, and then this one can pop into her shoulder joint, so she's like wearing the Iron Man arm gauntlet, like she is at the end of the movie during the battle scene. Does this one light up too? I believe oh, so. Oh yeah, it does. Yep. I don't know if I put the batteries in there. Yeah, you did. did. Okay. And the Iron Man armor, Mark IX armor, comes with... All these different hands here, and pull these all out. These are different like wrist covers because when he's doing like a fist or this, like they have an alternate mold, so the piece of oh, so is bent up that way. Up? Yeah, okay. so uh, otherwise it would block the hand. Uh, these are al alternate, um, the like air brake shoulder piece. And this is, has like the hatch open up here, so it shows all the little missiles that he like fires out on the side. These are also alternate armor pieces there. Another alternate wrist piece for the other hand. <laughs> and then he has these that clip onto his wrist, and they're like the pop-up wrist rocket missile thing. Oh, that's so they, cool. They attach like on his forearm here, so it looks like the missile's coming out and like the, the armor's lifted up. And... I believe that is it. And some extra pegs for wrists if anything snaps. And then of course the stands. 
Yeah, you get all these Iron Man pieces, the extra arm piece for this, which we'll show with the alternate arm and the poses later. And you said this is how much? 340? 345? Three, yeah, 340, I believe, for the two pack. That is a lot of stuff. The Iron Man suit is awesome. Uh, it's kind of scary at first because of all the moving parts, but it's actually really sturdy. The display stand is cool, so you can have him standing in like a hero pose, or you could have him in like a flight pose and shooting. Uh, Pepper, you can't do like a ton with. I mean, she doesn't really do much in the movies, but at the end of this movie, you can like pose her with the arm and her action pose there. Um, the Gwyneth Paltrow head sculpt is pretty good. Wouldn't say it's like 100%, but it's you can tell it's Pepper. <laughs> Especially yeah, when you're yeah. standing next to Tony Stark or Iron Man. It's kind of a cool little addition to the set. Um, is there anything else you want to add to this? No, I mean, I just, oh. I think the, um, like you were saying about her head sculpt, the, the thing that, <clears throat> the thing that hurts a lot of figures with the rooted hair is the hair isn't long enough to have the weight. Yeah, it doesn't sit so right So it doesn't sometimes. sit right. Um, but like you said, I mean, I think the the head sculpt is good enough. I mean, obviously, you have her standing next to an Iron Man, everyone can kind of assume that's yeah. who it is. Well, you can tell it's Gwyneth Paltrow for oh, sure. Oh, yeah. And the hair isn't that big of a deal. Sometimes Hot Toys puts, like, some kind of styling something in their hair mm -hmm. that kind of holds it down so it's not, like, frizzy. Uh, throw a measurement out here quick for the Iron Man and Pepper. So the Mark 9... About 12 and a half inches tall. And then Pepper is about 11 and a half. About 11 and a half inches. This is more Avengers um, reviews in our March to Infinity War. There'll be many more to come this month. Uh, so keep on watching. Let us know if there's any figures you want us to review for you guys. Otherwise, um, just stay tuned and we'll be posting again soon. Yeah. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe. And uh, check us out on Instagram. Thanks. Thank you.